This method of pod mounting the engines has many advantages, including ease of engine change. These quick disconnect fittings are for electrical connections to the engine. The quick disconnect fluid line connections to the engine are on the opposite side. Disconnect them, remove three bolts which connect the engine to the strut, and remove the engine. The cowling around the engine is quickly removable for ground level maintenance access. The cowling can be raised and supported for access without removing for quick minor adjustments to the engine. After closing the engine cowlings with quick acting simple fasteners, the jet transport is ready for engine start and taxi test. The lightweight Boeing air supply cart, powered by a Boeing Model 502 gas turbine engine, supplies the compressed air necessary to start the turbojet engine. The compressed air hose and electrical power cables are connected to the right side of this prototype airplane. The airplane is completely instrumented. Oscillographs record flight control and structural data. Ground recorders log accessory and engine temperatures. And photo recorders obtain performance and power plant information. During the taxi test, the airplane is run through a wide speed range to check the engines in operation, brake effectiveness, and all flying controls as much as they can be without taking off. During these taxi tests and on later air tests, Flight engineers and observers were aboard, in addition to the two pilots. On the taxi runs, the airplane's excellent maneuverability and turning radius is checked. The outstanding qualities of the airplane are derived from some 37 years of Boeing design and manufacturing experience. This background includes a multitude of bomber and transport airplanes from the B-9, the first bomber to fly more than 200 miles per hour, up to the present B-47 and B-52 multi-jet bombers and the Stratocruisers. Taxi runs at relatively high speeds verify that the airplane is ready for flight. In the early afternoon on July 15, 1954, Tex Johnston, chief of flight test for the Boeing Airplane Company, signed for the new jet transport and climbed aboard with Dix Lesh, his co-pilot. The initial flight was from the 5,400-foot runway at the Renton Municipal Airport, adjacent to the Boeing Renton plant where the new jet transport was built. The airplane weighed in at 110,000 pounds for the flight. Calculations indicated it would be airborne after approximately 2,200 foot ground run and should be at roughly 600 feet altitude as it passed over the end of the runway. It would then climb to a medium altitude 20,000 feet and carry out a low speed shakedown flight. Next waved to his family, closed the cockpit window, and prepared to taxi out.
climbing for 8,700 feet. All engine operation is normal. Hydraulic pressures are normal. The airplane feels good. The red lines line up to serve it. As far as we can tell, the airplane is secure, down and locked. We're coming in. Over if I test. One hour and 25 minutes after takeoff, the new Boeing lined up for landing on the main runway at Seattle's Boeing Field. The airplane approached from the north and touched down. The maiden flight of America's first jet transport was over. The airplane taxied in, and when it had been parked, the pilot and co-pilot were congratulated by William M. Allen, president of the Boeing Airplane Company, George Martin, Chief Engineer, and George Shire, Chief of Technical Staff. TV commentators interviewed Dix Lesh and his family and Tex. Flight test data gathered during this initial flight was analyzed, and the airplane was immediately prepared for a flight the following day. Six flights were made on the new airplane within the next seven days following the initial flight. The airplane was flown above 42,000 feet altitude and at air speeds in excess of 550 miles per hour. Aerial refueling formatting capability with the B-52 was demonstrated. The age of the jet transport is here, ushered in by the Boeing prototype model 707 airplane. Through continued testing and operation of this prototype airplane, early realization of an effective operational jet transport for airline use is assured.